Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Titan Extruder and the E3D V6 modifications that I was going to make to the Prusa i3 from, from BQ, I think it was, I said I was going to do. Well, that didn't happen and um, for reasons I did something else. So what I did was, I'll just get out the way, this is a printer that I bought off eBay uh, a long time ago, a few months good 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 few months and it's made out of plywood it doesn't look like it's made out of plywood it looks like it's made out of acrylic but no it was 150 something pounds and it was made out of plywood so i've spent quite a few months trying to refine it trying to get it working trying to make it better because it was um interesting to get working from the start but finally i've modified the uh, the, the y-axis on it and i've got the the Titan and the V6 from E3D fitted to it. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of that and just talk about how I modified it and what its capabilities are. So this is the printer here. Like I say, it's made out of plywood. Um, it came from eBay. It was £159, which is um, some dollars and some other amount of another currency. You can Google that to find out what it is. And um, it's, it's canny. The, the first thing I had to do was reflash the firmware. As you can see, it's PI3 Pro B ready. That's not the firmware that came with it. That is a G-Tech firmware that I put on it, and it seems to work okay. Um, it came with all of these groovy stickers on, which let you know which part to build. And uh, if I can get round here, you can see it's got a custom board, which is, um, um, yeah, it's a custom board. The, it's not very stable, let's say. So, let's get to the modifications. Now, down here is the y-axis that I've modified. And as you can see, I've printed out all of these blocks in this lovely colour. And um, it's the same as the BQ Prusor i3. You've got the parts of GitHub and printed them out. So, we've got a proper belt tensioner. We've got stability. This was a wooden section all the way along here, and it was absolutely rubbish. Now, if I just uh, pull that forward, you can also see in the back of the printer, I've got the uh, the stepper motor mounted the same as the um, the BQI3, and the corner blocks in there as well. So that was wood, and it was all mounted on wood. Now it's not. Now it's much much better. What I've also done is this plate here is three thick aluminium because on the original print it was made out of wood and um and and yeah that was that was good that that yeah aluminium's better and um as with everything else i don't know if you can see let's try and get in my camera works not great under here i've put some two millimeter thick cork and i've used kaplan tape to tape it to the to the pcb i've done that with all the other printers so yeah that's it now the hot end that came with it was rubbish and um, I printed out this bracket here, which was uh, at the request of E3D. And what they didn't tell me was that I would have to put some kind of modification, yeah, that is a wood screw, into the bracket so that it hits the end stop. And as you can see, yeah, you're right, the end stop is broken, but it does work, kinda. And um, there's the Titan, and there's the E3D V6. Now, it is a V6, it's not a Light 6, that is a Light 6 fan shroud, um, it is a, v a V6, the, the fan shroud is from a Light 6, but it is an all metal hot end, don't worry about it. So, what we'll do now is, we'll show you printing some ABS, and then um, you can decide for yourselves whether it's, it's worth messing on with a printer you buy from eBay.
So that's it doing ABS. Pretty awesome. Uh, if you want to have a quick close up of the part, I'll hold it straight in front of my face so that you can see. The top layer is quite nice. Um, there's a bit of Z banding on it and I had to print it out with the world supply of uh, brim because you know it's got such tiny features the uh, the first layer of the um of the bridging needed to be cleaned out uh, you saw in the video that wasn't very good i probably could do with reducing the speed on that but i'll mess with that later so next you're all shouting now does it do ninja flex of course it does ninja flex let's watch So there, one Ninja Flex print, and you want to see it? Okay, here you go. Try and see if it's going to be any good, that footage. White is probably not the best colour to, to make this out of. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's a, it's a cover for an XT60 connector on a LiPo. There's an XT60, and um, it just pushes on. There you go comes off again so absolutely perfect there's a couple of issues with top layers not uh, being formed properly you can probably see uh, you probably can't see but yeah not to worry so there you go one ebay prusa i3 3d printer with a titan and a v6 from e3d it seems to print out okay. The yeah, the ABS looked okay. The Ninja Flex turned out okay. I mean, there's always a few tweaks you can do to make it a bit better than what it is. And I'll no doubtedly experiment with that in the future. But that's it. That's what I've been up to over the last few months. So, as usual, please like, comment, subscribe. I've been Steve. Thanks for listening.